Hey guys, I'm back with a um, little tidbit. If you're making craft reefs, and then I'll show you um, one of my best sellers from the holiday boutique I just did over the weekend. And um, that's pretty much it, okay, is what I'm going to show you. All right, I'm making these two reefs for someone I met at the holiday boutique. She saw that I had some painted character reefs is what I call them. And she wanted a couple that had eyelashes. And then she wanted the lips and the eyebrows. So I did that. I'm still working on this one. And this one I finished. Now, the problem I had when I made these, when I was making it, is I didn't have the product I needed, the color that she wanted for these reefs. So I went and ran down to Michael's and they only had one purple that, the color that she was looking for and it was the 20 inch in um, width re um, mesh so I picked that up which is um, longer than this or because I've well it was about it's this long the long one and you see I had to cut it and you can see where it's fraying on both ends now my suggestion you guys if you don't want it to fray and you have to use it like an emergency like I did my suggestion to you is you get that and when you cut it you cut it along get an inch longer than what you normally like if you're cutting it for five inches make it six because what you're going to do you're going to get your heat tool if you have a heat tool and I hope that you do if you need to get a 20 inch emergency um, mesh and you're going to cut it layer your two or your one that you're going to do and heat it with this tool and what that does because the mesh is plastic it will shrink it up and it will then the the fraying will come won't fray as much it'll keep it down because you heat it it shrinks and it can't stretch out so that is what i've done and the the best thing when to do it is after you get your reef all set up and it's all like this all set up is the best time to get that heat tool and go around it and you'll see it shrink so try not to burn it eyeball it and you should be good to go now practice before you do this because I don't want you to come back and tell me I burnt my wreath okay it's kind of a common sense kind of thing so just eyeball it and it's going to shrink so if you need a five inch, you make sure you at least give yourself an inch to two inches and barely heat tool it. You might want to um, use a blow dryer if you don't have one of these. If mesh, if um, reef is all you do, you could actually go to a store called Tuesday Morning. They might have them there, but you can get these at a Joann's or a Michael's a craft store and use a 50% off. This does come in handy. I do quite different crafts, so I'll show you what it does you'll see it melt it's kind of like embossing powder if you're familiar with embossing powder that is a card maker um, thing so yeah it will heat up and you'll see it see how it shrinks that is what it will do see that so that's why I say get it a little longer if you have to use this or even if you're using the little five inch and you don't want it to fray that much that is a good trick to do because that's not going to come out you shrink that plastic that's not going to come out and when you um, fold it I'm going to show you on this sample because I've tried to make this video a few times I don't like the um, portrait I like the landscape and somehow I can't get it so once you do it and you melt it that's what it's going to look like but when you get them all together like I have it might not look so pretty here but look at that you guys it's not bad and I didn't melt it too much see you can see where I melted it there so you gotta eyeball it if you melt it too much it's not gonna look pretty so that's just my little tidbit if you guys need help with that okay and another thing pipe cleaners you can get a bag of 25 at Walmart for 88 cents this is a Walmart brand this is a Hobby Lobby look at that now I do not like the um, Walmart brand so I'm sticking to Hobby Lobby they're on sale for half off I think they're 88 cents. They might be even 40% off. I don't know. But they're 88 cents right now. So I'm going to go get me some as soon as I finish that wreath. And that's it concerning the wreaths. I am not a wreath maker. I have like 
no really big experience on that but I'm telling you that's gonna that's gonna save it from fraying you might look up and see if you can find suggestions I didn't look up I just I was like hey it's plastic let me melt it a little you know and it happened to work these are cookies I was selling at my um, the holiday boutique I went to these are cookie cutters I picked up from Amazon they were $14 and they come already, they look like they're decorated. But I decorated with uh, the 3D puffy paint and buttons. So that's what I made. I was selling them for $1.50 a piece. And those were like my number one hot sales. This is a cookie cutter I picked up from Joann's. Now, I used um, Triple Think, I think it's called. You can get that at Hobby Lobby in the paint section to make it gloss. And it dries really fast. But it does have an order to them. But now that it's dried, it doesn't have it, and they just smell like cinnamon. Three ingredient cinnamon. I mean, gingerbread cookies. It's cinnamon, applesauce, and glue. I would suggest using a clear glue. I did use my Mod Podge, but as you're working with it, the glue's drying, right? Because, you know, that's what glue does. I started to see, like, the glue, um, the glue drying, like little white specks. So I suggest a clear one, but Mod Podge did work out for me, and, um, this I put in the oven for three hours at 200 degrees, and it was on parchment paper, and I didn't like the way that came out. So next time, I'll just stick with the air drying. But I think it was because it was thicker, because the thinner one didn't come out too bad. You can barely see it. This was air dried, and I used paper to make it, because um, I didn't use glue with this. But man, I could drop these, and they do not break at all. I've dropped this one with the paper on there. Nope, no cracking. But anyways, that's just work. If you want to keep it simple, just do the glue, use the clear glue, and I would air dry them. And I think it takes three days, depending on your thickness, that they dry out. And if your house is like uh, room temperature or maybe around 70 degrees, 78 degrees, they'll dry in, th in um, three days. So you might want to do them in the summer before, before um, the Christmas holiday boutiques, but I did do mine. In the oven this time around but i had to use the parchment paper and it left the wrinkles so anyway so there's that here's a batch that i got and i'll be decorating pretty soon now once you put the triple thick that stuff will eliminate that white so just to let you know all right so there's that that's my other little thing and if you want the ingredients um go on your google engine search and put three ingredient gingerbread ornaments and it should pop up and I think it'll take you to Pinterest because that's where I found mine. So thanks for watching you guys. Again, here's my reefs. There's the first one I made before I figure it out. I should use the heat gun and here's the second one. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Happy holidays.